what's going on everyone so i'm actually in my neighborhood making a run for a uh customer and just trying to figure out exactly where to go i went to the front entrance and the guy advised me to go in the back he said there's a loader knock there so i'm heading to the back right now i see a garage okay i see a van here so that looks like that that's gonna be a loading dock yeah so let me back up and uh call this lady back and see what i'm supposed to do I couldn't really record this whole thing, but it's supposed to be a big frame that, that, I don't know. And then this big bad boy right here that I gotta get to. So let me get that all situated. I'm gonna tell them I'm pretty much done. They can close the door. Just want to let you know I'm, I'm, I'm finished for the day. So you can, you can close these two up. All right. Thank you. All right. Let me figure this out and I get back with you guys. All right, guys. This thing really couldn't film much. But we got it in there. Ooh, that thing. That thing is heavy. I think that's a little bit better. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a strap over here. Strap. Strap it up. Uh, hmm. I got a couch that I gotta go pick up, so I gotta figure out how my how am I going to do this? Um. Truly, if I put it up sideways and put that up sideways, then I'll be able to have it up sideways. But question that comes up. Yeah, I gotta put this thing up sideways or something. There you go. As you can see, that's it. I'm gonna send the lady this picture so she can see that I uh, removed the stuff from her, her mom's house. All right. And that's what I usually do for my uh, customers that you know need me to uh, take care of their uh, senior family members. All right, I think we're good. This is not going anywhere. Once I get that uh, furniture, then I'll be good. I honestly wanted to split this in half. I tried to step on it, but I almost had to do that somewhere where I can actually, uh, you know, get to it. But yeah, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and head down the road. I usually will move the truck around and then, you know, take a look at my load. That's locked up, that's locked up. Uh, and we got everything. I gotta hide these wires back up underneath here. Alright, All right, I'm ready. Catch up with you guys later. I just got uh, finished taking care of a job for a, uh, another uh, repeated customer. Um, and provided some some some, some lawn care tips uh, as well as uh, tips on um, he's got like a vegetable bed that he's trying to uh, remove the green vegetation and just you know apply some mulch down. But um yeah my uh, I had a furniture appointment, but they canceled so the, uh, they stated that they're going to actually. Uh, remove the furniture that sells it's just a couple of uh ikea couches so you know it's not 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 too biggie you know 
uh, the IKEA couches, you can really you can really break those things down and uh, transport them yourselves. Uh, I don't know exactly where they're gonna transport at this this type of hour, but I'm pretty sure they got they got they got something in mind. But anyway, um, about to head home and uh, do some research. I gotta find out exactly uh, you know what other jobs we can get ourselves into uh, for this weekend. Uh, I do have one more job uh, for tomorrow. Uh, that's a small job, so um, I may bring you guys for that just to see. It's just a couple of things that the lady has outside her shed and uh, just a, a few items inside her home, uh, so we'll see. But, you know, that was when I seen the customer's uh, location, uh, I think it's like two weeks ago. Apologize if I keep saying, uh, um, I'm trying to drive and... For some reason, it's like every time I get in this truck, there's always something getting into my eyes, and I truly see the problem. All this pollen, this dust on my dashboard, so that's another thing that we're going to be doing this weekend. And I have another uh, potential customer, but it's not junk removal. It's more so a, uh, I, think, I think I mentioned it to you guys, but it's a, uh, a lawn care that I need to cut. I'm going to just take this route. Since I'm near my house, and I'm gonna drop my trailer off home, and then I'm going to clean up my truck. But yeah, so I just remember I might have a tree job tomorrow. So let me follow up with that customer to see if they want to proceed. And I may also have another couch removal. You know, I, I really just I, I need I need time. I need to I need to get to my book. I need to look at these customers and uh, give them some calls and see exactly who's who's ready. I've just been busy, 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 busy. So I'm so busy, I don't even know what to say on the, on, on the camera. Like, truth be told, I, I got so much on my mind. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, the life of an entrepreneur. But uh, one thing for sure, is we're gonna keep things in order. That is for sure. So, doing my downtime. That's the time I need to keep my head in the books. Head in the books and keep these uh, jobs going. So, I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace. All right, guys. Just want to show you a quick update. So, I cut this board down. It's raining outside, but I'm working. Cut that one in half and that super big tall board as you can see cut that bad boy down in half as well thanks to our power cable saw i'm gonna clean up this glass sweep that up put it up in there be good to go i don't really like loose glass uh nails anything just loose in my dump trailer even though you got this little entrapment here but it can still you know ponder off so usually if i do have loose glass nails or anything i'll tarp everything off okay then i'll take my tarp and i'll shove my tarp underneath here okay underneath the doors uh so that way the doors itself can use the tarp as uh, an enclosure to keep everything inside of the dump trailer so that way you don't have anything falling on the ground as you travel so with me using this thing it also uh informing that eventually down the line as far as like business equipment expansion i should uh purchase a electric saw you know so that way uh, when i'm actually in the field i can also take care of this task that are there <laughs> it was this was advised as a headboard okay so you know traditional headboards you're like all right yeah i, 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 I can master that myself but this thing i don't know what you really call this thing I've never seen a headboard like this. Removal of bed equipment, I, I usually won't bring a saw. This is not something that I expected. Uh, but as I always usually say, prepare for the unexpected. So equipment wise, I'm eventually give me a, a powerless uh, saw. Yeah, you know, count your blessings. I got a uh, electric saw here, even though you gotta connect, we still got the job done. So count my blessings and getting ready for this next job, so. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. All right, guys, I wanna give you guys a quick update. I didn't document the whole process of uh, this particular customer site. Full of wheelchairs, uh, wood panels, 
Uh, this was a custom made bar. You got some, uh, you know, stereo equipment, you know, the back in the day, the fashion. Remember those, the CD players, the boom boxes, that would be called it back in the day, boom box. Uh, we got some vacuum cleaners uh, right here and, you know, the floor washing cleaner, some kids, uh, car seats, metal chairs. I mean, this is a full load and there's some, some, some yucky stuff. Uh, all of this wood panel has been outside. Got poison ivy, uh, um, and some other stuff uh, there. Well, I can't say it's poison ivy, but it's weeds. But then it could it could be poison ivy. Anyway, I'm gonna take a nice good shower after this. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't document the the process because I mean this particular customer. Oh, and uh, some uh, you know the lawn chairs, the little cushion pads that too so it's, it's a lot here it's a lot here you know it's definitely a lot here all right guys so we got our junk here at the landfill so i'm gonna go ahead and begin dumping yeah see all right we got clearance i always check underneath to see about it clearance because when you uh pull a trailer up what you don't want is you'll want to drag stuff underneath of your dump trailer because then you gotta you gotta clean that mess up take it about right there right now and as always the 5.7 she's working see what we got as you see nothing was dragged up underneath here uh, we got these big big things today that's wet so that's why that's still, still on there but i gotta get that well i gotta move this over there so let me do that and i'll get back with you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it's been a awesome 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 job today like uh, i tell you I love it, I love it, you know. Some people may see this job as stressful, so labor intensive, and oh my God. But no, it's not, it's actually not, it's actually not. Each and every job is what you make of it, okay? The attitude that you have about the job is what you make of it, you know. There's people out here that's doing jump move and they love it, they love it, okay? And I'm gonna tell you, I'm one of those people. I used to, uh, well, I'm still still doing IT work, uh, information technology professional. But, believe it or not, I actually love doing this. I, I love it a bit more because it's less stressful. It's less stressful. This job, even though it's labor intensive, it's less stressful. The labor allows me to utilize my strength. Like, whatever's going on in life, instead of like going to the gym, hitting the punching bag and stuff like that, just go out and make some money. Lift something up, throw it in the trailer, hit a button, and go on to the next customer. It's so, yeah, I tell you, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Now, I'm not, let me not say every day is a beautiful day, because some days, you know, you, you, know, you got your days, you got your other days like, God, ah, I'm glad I chose this business, you know. Every job or every business is what you make of it, mentally, okay? Your attitude, uh, your physical, realm H have that mindset you know love what you do and you appreciate it you know if, if you don't love what you do if you don't appreciate what you do then yeah, 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 you're just not gonna love it <laughs> I trust me I I do the same thing with my son and he'll be on like on the back of the truck just jumping up and down and I'm like son that's still a drop <laughs> you know he, he still does it and I just like you know let's 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 move to a different set <laughs> have a good weekend so I'm getting ready to head down the road I'm gonna uh, pull to the side I always pull to the side and I check my trailer check my truck I always inspect it inspect it uh, to make sure that we're road worthy to be traveling down the road, and then you know I make I make my way.
make my way, baby. Okay, my outro is, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you are looking into get starting some type of side hustle, making it, you know, eventually your full-time business, I'm telling you, right now is the perfect opportunity to do so. Yeah, you know, utilize the, the knowledge and, 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 the, and the manpower and the resources and the tools that you got right now and just, just go for it.